care of it. When prohibition ended, uh, crime rate went down. I'm gonna take a knee. I'm gonna take a knee. No, so the guys, it's not. Don't take a knee. 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 Don't take
trying to get the routine in business. What are we gonna do? What are we doing? I don't, I don't know. It's because we look like one of those vehicles. <laughs> How likely is it that I can get a shot from behind? <sighs> Try something like this. So, as you guys can see, we're locked right in the middle of, we're sandwiched between a movement of armed to the teeth riot officers and National Guard men. Um, by, just by mistake, we took one turn and got sandwiched in between some sort of uh, riot that's happening down here. Um, the interesting thing is we just talked to some police officers, great people. These two men were wonderful. Uh, I believe they were, they were uh, sergeants, I'm not exactly sure. But they believe in the protest. They understand the protest. They even, I, we even filmed uh, officers taking a knee today. But the reality is, is that the protesters and the rioters are different people. They're different groups. Um, very few African Americans are involved in the looting and the rioting. They literally were telling people to, if they were here to riot, if they were here to cause um, civil unrest, then they needed to leave. And. Um, the officers are, they're really actually behind the protest. They, they literally spoke out against the violence and they know there needs to be reform. Um, as you can see, they're, they're loading back up. Um, this, this crew, that crew is still there. There's a large, I'm looking at probably a couple hundred behind us. Rear exit. Whatever that means. Probably means not the front exit. Hold. They're saying hold. Now they're all getting back out. Apparently something flared up again. See, you got to understand, it's so chaotic because there's thousands of rioters and protesters um, and they splinter off into separate cells. And so you can't, it's a game of cat and mouse the entire time. As you can see, they're getting in a riot formation to hold the line. And what they'll do is they'll they'll push forward and take a block, one block at a time. And as they take a block, they put the, the theory is is that they push them they push them out. But the thing is, there there's no such thing as pushing them out um, because they'll just they just go to another block. Come on, let's go! 
Those rubber bullets don't seem very nice. Oh. Yeah. Oh, do you hear that? It sounded like uh, them shooting a freaking uh, uh, tear gas canister. So we're here, we're on the corner of 4th and, uh, gosh, I don't even know what street this is, but we're downtown. Uh, we're a few, we're a few uh, blocks away from the city hall here in Los Angeles. And as you can see, there's a building up here and about, probably about 70 officers, maybe 50, I'm not sure, just went into this building down here. And I guess they're clearing the parking lot downstairs. They just arrested about, I don't know, I would say it looked like maybe five to 10 uh, people. They just brought them by. They're over here in this corner. Turn around now. They're over here in this corner. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So probably maybe as many as um, maybe as many as 20 they've arrested and obviously there's more over here they're in the in the garage they're clearing the garage but if you just come this way you can see above they have black lives matter in the window and there's people that are in the windows above and i'm looking up above there's there's painted black lives matter on a lot of these windows and uh, now they're bringing out one one person now they're bringing out one person in handcuffs um zip tied and it looks like they might be bringing out more people um, a lot of law enforcement presence downtown and we were just told that hollywood is going up right now that that um that they're they're looting they just got done looting at walgreens or cvs and so we're probably going to make our way over there
So we're somewhere in Hollywood uh, where there's a small skirmish on this street. And as you can see, uh, there's one, two, three, four, five, seven, about six or seven officers that have lined up in between these guys. Uh, but, it, but there's several hundred officers to block back. So most likely what they'll do is they'll charge this group, they'll push them back about a block, and they keep doing that all over town. Yes, because they don't have any. This whole time, man. Yeah, yeah, crazy. yeah well, they were they were down in Old Impalas downtown tonight. I saw, yeah, I saw that last. We're on Sunset and Vine, uh, Hollywood, and uh, right now it's relatively quiet. We've seen some action down here. Uh, as you can see behind us, we do have the National Guard that's posted up here. I'm not sure. There might be maybe 50 to 70 of them, maybe. Um, and uh, just their presence here, I think, keeps a lot of the the, the foolishness down in this area. Um, but there are there are a lot of helicopters circling and about every, I would say about every five to 10 minutes we'll see a convoy of cops fly through on their way someplace. Uh, matter of fact, here is one, two, three, just turn around, Neil. Here we go, there's a truck up there. Like the news, they knew something we
Doing good, doing good. We're all cool for you guys to go. Just back up a little bit, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure. Sure. Bad, we were okay, right? Oh, okay, that's cool. Okay. No problem, man. Whatever you need. That's for it, then. Oh, thank you. I don't want to get in and get the shot. No, you're great. Right. Yeah. Yeah, you too. Thank you. And I, I, I told him I deleted the picture because I was like, man, I'm going to save you. It's all in context. Yeah. I know that dude shit himself. Yeah, talking about rolling up. That's the response. exciting in that a little bit. to get super exciting and they're like, oh, all right, never mind, have a good night. I can't imagine being the dude in that car with all that rolling over.